Hi everyone, it's Yolanda and welcome back to my channel. It's uh, been a while since I've recorded a video so I'm actually doing a whole lot today of journals that I've made. Um, I've been sick and you know life interrupts and it's yeah so now it's hopefully moving forward. So I actually made a series of these. I did post them on my Facebook page. The little one is gone, it's sold and now I have the large and the medium. They're made from the Chow Bella paper which is just beautiful, it's from Italy. Um, I think they're very, fairly new on the scene but you can now get this paper here in South Africa which is great. So these are more like travel journals and the spines are both the same. I've used elastic to attach them and there's a charm on that one. They're similar not exactly the same but they are similar. I don't know if you can see it, I stenciled on here and then I use stickles to give it a bit of a shine. So uh, like I said they are quite similar so let's just take the ribbon out and this bow I'll show you it's super easy to do. So here on the front we've got two tags and I just put paper there and this gorgeous um, trim. So opening it, am I in the picture? I am. Um, is an envelope that opens of course and you can put whatever you want inside. Um, and then the, the first, these have got, yeah just the one signature. It's the other ones I've done too. <laughs> okay this is a fabric from Singapore that my son bought me. He bought me a few sheets of it in different colors. It's just too beautiful. So I added it here and fussy cut this out. And of course this beautiful lace which belonged to my, my late mother. So here is the pocket with a pull out to journal on. And then we get another like belly band which you can add and journal on the back there. These are old photographs I printed out. Uh oh, and of course I've done stitching. I've done a lot of stitching on, on these albums and a lot of stenciling. So here we go, we've got this gorgeous, can you see this? I thought it was really, I don't want to bring it too close. And I've got vintage uh, lace here that I've sewn on and more fabric. And then over the page, two pockets made with the uh, dictionary paper and tags and this comes out with that lovely vintage lace. I only have a little bit left of that now. And the, just more journaling paper. And here we go for a tag. This is washi tape and I've stitched and distressed it and this is a stamp that I kind of did quickly because I didn't want it um, too sharp you know. This is an envelope, uh, no it's not, <laughs> this is a pocket and look at this beautiful beautiful um, lady. So it's all about opera and singing in Italy, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we have more lace and a little collage with that fabric from Singapore underneath there. Um, hang on, yeah there we go. More fabric stitched on, stenciling and stitching. Took me a while to make these. And we have a old postcard which I've printed out and it says Roma. Villa Pom what? Pompil. Tyrol. Yeah, so it's an Italian postcard with lots of tags. There are lots of lots of tags in this. Lots of places to journal. Then we have two little baggage tags. And we have another pocket in here with a tag and that lovely lace again. This is a belly band. This is just for fun here. Two little like wheels and then you can journal something on there. If you really want you can journal on the back too. There's fabric there, lace, all sorts of things. And another one of those pull-ups that I always add to my pages. And of course some stenciling there. Am I keeping this in the frame? Yeah. 
and this is a postcard that I stamped you know it's those index everything is coffee dyed I always coffee dye sometimes I'll add tea to the mix but um, usually and look at this cute little thing <laughs> little tag and again this opens up for you to write in it everything has been stitched on this one more stenciling this is music lace and stenciling and I'll just flip through these quickly this is that uh, wax proof paper and I just added a little bit there and here I hope my lighting is better because I noticed the other day when I was looking at my other videos that it was a bit bright so we shall see two more tags an envelope that I've collaged on and there's a little tag in the envelope as well more lace and stenciling packet which I just stenciled I love this and I just stenciled again there so as I said there's lots of stenciling in this here's another postcard that I stamped and this is a stamp of a woman which I just adore these stamps you're going to see a lot of them in my journals and this is something that I sort of fuss, fussy cut out and again added lace and stickle and this perfume bottle is too beautiful this is an ancient pin that I ancient <laughs> vintage pin that I picked up at a flea market at a vintage stand and just some ruffling there and there is room to put more see let's carry on and we're stitching again and there's a nice pocket there which you can add more there's again is that gold Singapore fabric am I too quick <laughs> another little envelope for you to put whatever you want in there with a tag stamping uh, I love this beading just tags and then all the tag that I've used the paper is double-sided which I like here's some more wax proof paper and some collaging of fabrics stitching another little pocket oops <clears throat> I should have brought some water here and um, stenciling another little belly ba uh, band and this has got your sa the safety pin. I clipped it on and a little charm. More paper um, to write on. Little bits and pieces. Maybe you can attach tickets to that or something. I just thought it was nice. Okay, moving on. Lots of stamping as I said. Washi tape. Here I added a little another card and of course room for more and some fringing I love this fringing this is almost like a upholstery fabric it is upholstery fabric tuck spot with two tags look at that two gorgeous you can still journal on there or put a picture um, and uh, Two pockets this idea is from Genevieve designs although I didn't use her templates I did buy them but um, it's similar to it's the same as what she does almost I think hers go the other way whatever it doesn't matter <laughs> I just wanted to let you know some uh, title can be put there another pocket this is an envelope tuck spot with a card with some collaging this beautiful pink lace oh where did that come from that came from somewhere <laughs> I'll figure it out and another card so again space to put stuff inside and this is the envelope and then I just stenciled on it or stamped rather more of that gorgeous pink lace fussy cut that out another card and let's a little tag this can be used as a tuck spot as well with more fabric collaging this is the paper bag with a humongous tag I just left this plain because you know sometimes the paper just speaks for itself and you don't need to add anything else so it can still be journaled on all photographs put on whatever and there's two little pockets here with two more tags that I stamped you can 
can put a title there again. And this is another one of my fold outs to be journaled on. And I normally leave, oops, yeah, there, no. Behind the package should be, no, not on this one, ah, this one, on the side. You see, I've already forgotten. <laughs> uh, pocket there, more lace and stamping. Another tuck spot, and this is a vintage, like, architect plans for Gothic Arcade, which I thought was quite nice, especially for Italy. Washi tape there. Lots of place. You know what I did there. <laughs> another pocket. And I thought maybe another little picture here. Anyway, and this is like a silk fabric that's been stitched on. Here is another. Now this is a genuine postcard. It is not a copy. A vintage postcard. Also of Venice. Piazza e Basilica de Saint Marco. So that is a genuine postcard. Open that out. This is another writing spot. There we go. And then this is quite sweet. Again, you've got your a, a pocket here with a little a tag. Put that back. Another tag in this little pocket here. This opens out and I added a vintage letter, journaling on the back and of course another little journaling. And I found this um, paper clip which is quite rusted, it's a copper one but it's, it's you can see that it's like vintage <laughs> or it looks, been made to look vintage. It was just in my stash and I thought it would be perfect with this. And then here is just some another writing spot with your bulldog clip and just more pages to write on and maybe a picture on this beautiful paper. Or you can still journal on top of that actually on the, which I think would be quite nice. So that is, these are my travel journals. I shall have to find where this guy goes. Don't know where he goes, but anyway. And, um, and this is loose, okay, so Thank you for watching. Um, I'll, I will briefly, no, I'll show this on a separate one. Otherwise it just goes on forever. Thanks guys, I'll be back just now.